Number 15, what is the solution to this system of equations? 2x plus 4y equals 22 and 7x plus y equals 12. We want to solve this to find the x and y that makes both equations true. Now, normally we would have to tackle this ourselves, and we could do it that way. Or in this case, they make it easy. They're just saying, hey, does 3, 4 make both of them true? So plug 3, 4 in and see, does it make them both true? Plug 2, negative 2 in, see, does that make them both true? Well, we'll start with 3, 4. Does 2 times 3 plus 4 times 4 equal 22? And at the same time, 7 times the x value of 3 plus the y value of 4, does that equal 12? Does it make them both true? Well, this is 6 plus 16. 6 plus 16. Yep, that works. Could it be? No, 7 times 3 is 21 plus 4, 25. Not happening. So it's not A. All right. Could it be B? Well, let's erase all this and start over and check the B piece. So it actually might be faster to solve it all the way. And I'll do that at the end in case you're interested in seeing. So 2 times 2 plus 4 times negative 2, does that equal 22? I can tell you right away, no. 4 plus negative 8 is not working. So that guy's not going to work. Okay, well, let's try the next. 2 times 1 plus 4 times 5 equal 22? Yes, because 2 plus 20, that works. Does the next one, 7 times 1 plus 5, does that equal 12? Yes, so it is choice C. 1, 5 is actually the point that works. Now, you can close the video if that's all you wanted, because again, a lot of the SOL is simply plug numbers in and see do they work. How do we do this problem normally? Well, if you remember, what we're going to try and do is we're going to do what's called elimination. We want to make one of the X's or Y's disappear. If I multiply this bottom equation, if I multiply him by negative 4, let's look what it'll give me. It'll give me negative 4. Now I'm doing negative 4 times the whole thing. That'll give me negative 28X plus negative 4Y or just minus 4Y. Let's write it that way minus 4y equaling negative 48. And the original equation, I can just leave. 2x plus 4y equals 22. Notice that when we add them together, we'll get a true equation. We get negative 26. These go away. That's why it's called elimination. Equals, and this will give me negative 26. I divide by negative 26 on both sides. I get x is 1. So I know x's value is 1 which right away tells me choice C, it's the only one that has X as one. But once I get X being one, I can plug one into either equation. I'll plug into the top one to figure out the other unknown variable. So we get two plus four Y equals 22. Subtract your two from both sides and you'll get four Y is 20, divide by four and you'll get Y is five. So there's X, there's Y. That's the way you should know how to solve it if they're not giving you a bunch of options and letting you just plug numbers in to see what makes them both true.